I am Nawaf Suleiman. I am a calligrapher. I grew up in Palestine in a village called Akraba. And uh, in 1967, I was uh, displaced and I had to leave uh, with the family to Jordan. At that young age, uh, you don't really, you can't imagine yourself where you're going, where you're coming from, things like that. But in 1970, again, I had to flee and go to Kuwait with the family again, uh, where I started getting familiar with the art world. At that time, Kuwait was a very open country for so many uh, of us. And uh, I got to learn a lot about calligraphy, art, uh, photography, even music. <laughs> uh, and I got to meet many of my old friends. I don't know where are they now, but however, I have a lot of appreciation to what they taught me, uh, especially calligraphy. Actually, the, when it comes to calligraphy, uh, calligraphy is, it, it has two parts to it. One is the vision, and the other one is the spirituality of how that Arabic letters look like when we look at the Aleph letter. But even if we look at, for instance, the other alphabets and how it's written originally by, by, by the Chinese, who obviously invented ink and paper and all that. The alphabet, the alphabets and the calligraphy has always taken my uh, attention that there is something behind that vision. So I decided at a certain point to learn. And then I found out that there is, there is rules, there is secrets, there is a Suf Sufism effects to it. Uh, spiritual, spirituality, and then I tried to to imitate whatever those masters from the Ottoman Empire or from the Abbasi Empire or the or the or the Egyptian or the Andalusian or the, even North Africa, and what, and then I went back to even the English alphabets, the Latin. You know how did they write it? What difference uh, when we are in, when we we, we are looking when we are looking at the Farsi calligraphy, which is called Nasta Aliq? It's basically Arabic alphabets, but it's completely different. I don't read the language, but I, I can appreciate so much the way they write it and the way how those letters were invented to start with. I did also. Uh, got involved uh, with ad agencies at that time. Uh, I became a graphic designer, uh, an art director. I won so many different awards on the national level in Kuwait. So I have a lot of appreciation to that time. All that happened and ended in 1990. In 1990, I was displaced again, and I came to the U.S. And then I had to open my own advertising agency, uh, serving uh, the businesses in America who wanted to reach the Arabic community uh, in the U.S. And then it was great, and then I uh, continued uh, to market in other languages to those big clients like DirecTV, Lufthansa, Dish Network, and many others. For the Polish community, Russian, uh, Chinese, Hindu, all of them. And, uh, and I continue to do that uh, almost for 20, over 20 years. Uh, however, later on, uh, I decided, it was always, the idea was always in my mind that I have to 
go back to my passion and to do more toward the calligraphy, uh, to make exhibitions, uh, in order to have, let's put it this way, uh, having a, a retirement <laughs> project. Uh, the business is, uh, is running now and it's working, but I minimize my hours uh, and I have almost half of my day focusing on the paintings. Uh, while in the US, I had the opportunity to also explore other languages like the Chinese, the um, Latin calligraphy, uh, many others, and I, I would say I managed to uh, create some kind of uh, a formula where I can get whatever good in the typography, the Chinese typography and the Arabic typography, which was extremely difficult. Uh, because you have to, in calligraphy, you have to develop the vision, the knowledge, uh, of course, appreciation, and you have to develop the tool. And in terms of the tools, I have spent so much time to create my uh, pen, inks, uh, how to use the, 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 instead of just co contain myself in the classic methods, no, I took it further uh, to a level where I utilize the digital age. I was always uh, thinking about doing projects. What is it? Do I write wisdoms, words, phrases? But all of a sudden I got started to, I, I did uh, write the name New York and many people liked it including people who did not know what is that, New York, in Arabic, unless I wrote it for them in English. Uh, so I noticed that uh, if I were to make Paris or London, however, I have a friend, a journalist, a bright journalist in Ramallah, who suggested that I do uh, uh, some Arab cities, or we called it city in the hearts names and letters. And I started doing uh, Damascus, Egypt, Beirut, Jerusalem, uh, Kuwait, cities like that. And then we decided to, to, to go further and to focus on several cities in Palestine, which is unfortunately, it's almost forgotten, but the names are Arabic. So I did them all almost. And further on, who knows, I will be doing a lot of, uh, can you imagine having Tokyo written in Arabic and then underneath in Japanese. And the Japanese would tell me, oh, we know that this is Tokyo, but what is this? I will tell them this is Tokyo in Arabic. Uh, you are presenting a concept of calligraphy by what's common. For me, a painting can say more than a book. And that way you create a dialogue and a bridge between cultures. Arabic language, it's amazing language for me. Not because I am from that heritage or it's because I love it. I like it. And further, and above all, I, I enjoy it. <laughs> These are my tools. This is the most important and original uh, calligraphy pen that was used throughout history. And it is uh, from bamboo. And there is different style of it, depends on where it comes from. Egypt have different kind of bamboo, Turkey, uh, Damascus, Baghdad. And uh, you dip this in ink and you write. Another. Uh, pen I use is a ink fountain pen that I get and I customize it in a way where I uh, uh, keep writing on sandpaper, fine sandpaper, in order to get the, the, the nib in an angle. And all those angles for each script, they have to be in a specific uh, angle. Uh, so once I finish that, I start writing, 
on the paper and I can see how smooth, smooth the letters are and the writing. Now the best uh, style that I like it and I love it because I did, I created the tools, I look for it and I can master it. It's the sponge pen, which is this one. And I can do many different uh, scripts, but it requires a lot of pre preparation for that. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how I use this uh, to write, for instance, uh, let's write Washington, for instance. And what I, li I like about this is that when I dip the, the nib into the ink, it holds a certain amount of ink that I can see it. And it, you look, I can go fast and do the Aleph of Washington after the O in Arabic now. Washington now, I write it here and I have to speed up here in order to get that feel of ink and how it's looking like. And now Washington has three dots here on the, in Arabic again. And it's basically, I didn't prepare myself to this. It just came to my mind now. Um, and you can see, you can see the last letter, which is the N, and how it should be. It should be dark at the beginning. You should hold your hand clearly in order to make that T. Of course, we all want peace. Salam. So this is in brown ink. And I love the feel of the ink. How does it come in? I have to make sure that I am doing it right. Okay. And sometimes I make mistakes like everybody else, but I, uh, This is it, and the other one that I like to do, which is the different style, which is because you can write the S letter, and you can see how the how the ink is somewhat thick. And I can go sometime, if I want to, I can go straight for the lamb after S. And I can go back to this and write it differently. So anyway, I get the feel I want from the sponge pen, as I call it. And now let me show you some of my work. Aleppo, Beirut, Damascus, Egypt, Kuwait, Palestine.